Michelle. Hi. Hello, Lumi. Hi. How do you feel, Michelle, about you and Lumi going down to the town hall in Wednesday, Connecticut, and getting a marriage certificate for your marriage and for the sake of paperwork? Uh, I don't think it's going to change anything because people still respect me and Lumi Jean no matter what. Um, all it's gonna do is, it's not gonna, I don't think it's gonna change nothing either way. Other than the fact is, some people might, you know, look at it in a negative way, and other people might look at it in a positive way. I mean, if you got people that are getting married to carnival rides and to mannequins, I suppose, me and Lumi's situation certainly is. So there's people married to a carnival ride, and then yes, they are married. Yes, and there's a woman marrying a mannequin in Colorado. Are they okay? Uh, I think the woman from Florida seemed like she was older and whacked. Uh, she calls the carnival ride Bruce, and uh, and the mannequin uh, was part of a photo shoot, and the woman originally was going to marry the mannequin. I have the two episodes on tape. You can watch them both on Shipping Wars. And you should tell people, what is it called again? And what channel? Shipping Wars and Arts and Entertainment. It's on Tuesday nights, uh, uh, I think 9 or 10 o'clock Eastern Time. Question. What? Do you think there'll ever be, ever be a show about you and your other half and the, and, and the fact that you are married to your other your other half, which is the other soul that you your body provides. Uh, there there is not a show, but there certainly is a lot of uh, things that we have done that would certainly count as a reality series. Um, you know, how can people get out uh, get, if they're interested? How can they um, get to watch it? Just go to our YouTube channel. That's all. You have to just go there, and and you'll see. It's not really specifically a show. We just show segments of hard thoughts and issues, current events, spirituality, and other topics. And um, is Michelle and Lumi trying to be like Elsa in Frozen? Are you trying to portray the image of Elsa? The both of you? I know it's a little off topic, but... Um, I can answer that question uh, for Michelle. The answer is is that Michelle's character is more like the original Hans Who's Christian speaking now? Uh, Snow Queen. Character. Who's speaking now? It's Lemmy. Okay, Lemmy. Tell me. the difference. If you listen carefully, it's the voice. There's a difference. Okay, look. Oh, what were you saying? And the thing I was going to say, say was is Michelle's more like uh, the Snow Queen as created by Hans Christian Anderson in his original fairy tale. Um... Except she wanted to show the, the Snow Queen in a more positive light um, because she felt that the character has been, you know, has been portrayed in a bad life for, for centuries, you know. Um, Elsa is just really close to Michelle's heart because she seems to speak to Michelle's heart, you know, you know, don't be afraid of who you are, don't be afraid to stand up for what you are. Be who you are. Let it go. Don't worry about the stigma. Don't worry about the stereotype. And if you do that, you'll be fine. I well, noticed you were saying in other videos that your mother tried hiding you away when you were younger. My mother kept telling me, just like what Elsa is, uh, mother, you know, conceal, don't feel, don't let them, don't let them see, don't let them know, and um, let them know what. Uh, the fact is that I'm different. You know, because I'm a hermaphrodite and, you know, try to be the perfect girl you're supposed to be. And, and that was just really hard on me because I'm, I've always been more of a free spirit. And I still am to this day. I'm not a free spirit. I like to do things the way I do. I like to look outside the, the box and see how it all interplays, how it connects. Now, where do you feel that you would be in 10 years? Where would, what, what part of your life? And where do you think you'll be located in 10 years from now? It's hard to say because, you know, things now are really, really uncertain out in the world. Um, in 10 years, I'll be 56 years old. And um, 
if everything still holds up and the Islamic State hasn't destroyed the United States along with all the Christians and all the pagans and our economy doesn't tank, I'd probably still be here. Um, because my goal is I want to um, do the best I can, focus on my original mission, which is to inspire, to educate, and to help, you know, people, you know, show divine love towards each other. That's what I want to do. That's what I'm trying to do. Another random question. Um, your ex-neighbor moved out. Neighbors, Ed and Tony. Yeah. Um, do you feel less stressed, less stressed about the situation, or do you feel more stressed? Um, it's nice that they're not here because it means now that you know they can start focusing on their own issues in their lives, and I can mean when we can focus on our lives issues. Um. um one other question. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. And because, I mean, for a long time, he kept dragging me into his life issues, and he kept denying, denying me the right to worry about my own life issues. Okay, I have another question, similar to that one. How do you feel that you and the new neighbor, um, what's his name? Steven Slater. How do you feel that you and Steven Slater will become relationship-wise in the near future, like the near year? I like, know you have, like, a little crush on him. I can't say. I can't say. I know you're happy that he's your neighbor, right? Oh, I'm happy he's my neighbor because, I I mean, he seems to be a very kind man. I think he's, you know, he and I seem to have a, a nice friendship. Um, but as far as going further than that, it's it's up to Mother and Father God in my, in my life chart where we're going to go from there. I mean, I don't want to assume anything. I've learned long ago, never assume anything because it means it makes an ass of you and me. So I'm just going to just let, you know, go, let things go as they go and, and just try to, you know, handle one day at a time. So your phrase is pretty much let it go. I don't know, I'm willing to just let it, you know, I'm just going to let it see how you know, it goes naturally. I think we're going to be friends for and I don't think it's an issue of friendship. Um, like me and Lumi also talked about is, you know, we have to consider how both of us feel about a relationship with anybody. And, um, and that's the reason why we, we try to discuss these things. And right now, we both agree that it's, it's best not to assume that there's going to be a relationship with anyone right now. Any other thing you have to say today? I'm done asking questions for the interview. Would you like to let the viewers know where they can reach you and the the two people that they can reach? Well, here's the problem. If you're going to watch this video, you're going to see it on my channel anyway. So well, how about this? Subscribe. Um, Would you like them to subscribe? Well, right now we have I have 57 subscribers on my channel. Lumi has nine. So, Lumi, Lumi, you would like more subscribers. I was hoping to go for ten. Subscribers. So, I'm so one more, you guys. I please subscribe. One more subscriber, and then Michelle has 57. And she needs to eat more for 60. Please help Lumi Finistra. And how do you spell that? F I N I S T R A. Finistra. Okay, Lumi. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Michelle. Yep. And we'll do this upload to see your channel.